Overlaps. We took our pictures. I created the uh, MP4s. So we're just going to import those, put some in, put some transitions in, and put some music. So, new project. We always put the year, the month, the day, the name of the project, and then parentheses our name. And then we have to save this. This is every project that we start. We have to save this to our local, inside of local, we have our video folder, inside of that we have our project folder, and we make five folders in here. Audio, video, media, Project files, finished videos. So we have all three of these, and we save our project file into our project files folder. So we renamed, and then we save this into our project files folder in local. Open that. Now, for this, we kind of crowdsourced a whole bunch of hyperlapses. So inside of the NAS, I can go into the student gallery, and inside of there, I have all my videos as MP4s. I can Command C to copy, go to my local video, hyperlapse, video, and paste them in here. So now I have all of my hyperlapse inside of my local video folder. We can file import from here, but we could also do this. We can take these videos, drag them in, and that's the same thing as importing files. So, copy and paste them into local, import those files over here. Uh, this one right here is, it's just uh, one of them is not gonna work, that's okay. After we do that, we can go to new item. That's gonna be a new sequence. We select, this is the canvas size. So this is gonna be digital SLR, 1080p, 24 frames per second. That's how many, uh, that's the kind of layout of what we have. And then we can make this hyperlapse, parentheses, our name. Made the sequence. Now we can take all of these videos, find us our sequence and drag them in. We have all of these here, but some of them are too big, for instance, like this one. So what you can do is select all of these by left-clicking Dragon, right-click, set to frame size, and that will bring in everything here. So now we have our entire thing here, and we can go to Vato Elements, log into Envato, and once we sign in, I give you the username and password. We're going to go to stock video. You can look for transitions like light leaks, and the big thing here is that you do alpha channel. This is going to give you things that are that have a transparent background. When we download those, we can put them into Hyperlapse Project. It saves as a zip file, and we want to unzip this and then take that folder and put it into our media folder. So again, when you download this, it's gonna be a zip. You're going to unzip by double clicking. It's gonna open up Archiver, and then from there, we're going to have a folder and we can tr put these transitions, double click this, it's, it's unzipping, and we don't leave this in the downloads folder. I repeat, you do not leave this in the downloads folder. So here is the light leak, so I'm going to copy this, I'm going to go to my local, go to video, hyperlapse, media, paste this in here, and then I can Command-I 
import, another way to import, inside of media, here's my film, burns, and import those. So, here's my folder of these light leaks. If I double click, I can see the different ones. And I'm going to put these, drag like this, put them here. I want to make sure that they are over like this. And so when I, when I watch it back, it goes to the next one. And you can kind of experiment with different ones. So here's another one. You don't want to use the same one. So, boom. So kind of put them over the things where the next person starts. Okay? The last thing is, I sent to your email, I sent you the SoundCloud for NHS Tech. I also sent you a list of how to download it. So you're going to find a song, copy the link, and the SoundCloud downloader. Download the track. Remember, we don't ever leave anything in the download, so this is going to go to your local video, hyperlapse, audio, paste here, then import, you can drag that in, and put here. So you can see that this is like way too long, so I'm going to resize this, bring it over here, do it a little bit more. Over here, and so now we have the song playing. Everything's good. Uh, once you get there, you can add um, you could add credits if you'd like. You can go to, for instance, go to the end. Plus sign to zoom in. Make your credits like this. Credits, Jerry Will, and editor, blah blah blah. Um, you also inside of essential graphics to edit this, you can make uh, you can use these center align and things like that, and you can have them fade in. For instance, cross dissolve right here, cross dissolve here, and then you have the credits. If you have multiple things that you need, you can just add another one. Once you're done, you can go File, Export, Media, and we save it. Once it's once uh, the dialog box comes up. So, File, Export, Media. Should be a, a box that comes up. And here couple of things. One, the format is H.264, not H.264 Blu-ray, H.264. We click the blue name, which is Hyperlapse. We go to Local, Video, Hyperlapse, Finish Videos, and Save. And then we make sure that this is entire sequence right here. Okay? Entire sequence. Then when you hit Export, it will export your video. And then once it's done over here, we go to our finished videos folder. And once we're in our finished videos folder, we're going to copy, go to the NAS, oops, not events, video, hyperlapse student gallery, finished videos folder, then paste it into there.